All right, Louis Fontelis here, back on the Immortalizer. I know I just came out with a video a couple of days back, and I gave you guys a sneak preview on the new polls uh, created by Chief Pat of Chief Vapors. Um, now I'm back here, guys, to ensure that you guys, when you guys get your new polls and disassemble your Immortalizer, uh, this can kind of give you guys a step-by-step -step how to ensure that you have a trouble-free Immortalizer. So let's get started. Um, as you guys can see, I've kind of taken it apart here. I want to show you guys the orientation on everything. Um, let's just start off with this piece here. What I have here is, of course, a ceramic piece, the positive pole, and your positive pin connection. Now, this is the bottom right here. As you guys can see, the positive pin connection is round around. Both sides have an indentation, the ceramic having indentation that sits in that little piece there and the bottom of that little piece there that connects to your positive pin also has an indentation where your floating positive pin will sit into so that's the bottom the bottom there I'll bring this up just a little bit closer to ensure you guys can see that again round around indentation on both sides are sitting upwards All right now flip this over now I'll talk about the top of the positive pin here. Now your positive pin, as I flipped it over, you can see it moving to the right. It's a natural thing that will happen as you tighten down your immortalizer. You move here clockwise. That pin will also move with you clockwise as well. So that's the right orientation of your positive pin. Now I'm going to move over to step two. All right, guys. I have already put the ceramic on top of, lined up already, uh, negative pole in to ground everything down. Again, as I talked, like, just like the positive pin, you see it's moving left to right. I know a lot of guys get confused which way it's supposed to go. Again, I'm going to tighten it down and show you guys what I was talking about, how it moves with you. Tighten it right there. Now it's moving. You see how that kind of moved over there to the right a little bit? Okay. Now, I'm going to loosen this up. Now, tightening and loosening it, guys, I just talked to Pat today. Um, instead of using a Phillips screwdriver, I'm using a flat screwdriver here. As small as possible to be able to fit into the uh, Phillips screw head there. He advised me to use one of these because of a lot of Phillips screwdrivers. They might seem they fit into the hole, but based on the depth that you're going to get in terms of bite into your screw, there's a possibility you might round the head of your screw. So to ensure that, you know, uh, again, to keep your immortalizer worry-free, as he did tell me it's best to use a flat screwdriver there. So I'm going to loosen this up just a little bit so I can move my pole in place. There you go. I'll hold that to the side there a little bit, tighten it down. There you go. Again, guys, also when tightening it down, as a quick reminder once again, please do not excessively tighten down your screws. You know, you do risk uh, breaking your ceramics. Now off to step number three. All right, as you guys can see, I've already got the build in there for you guys. I've cut everything back clean. Uh, regardless of how you make your build, um, you want to ensure you get enough clearance uh, as everything gets screwed down. Um, Again, I'm going to put in my sleeve. Now, for those of you who got an immortalizer for the first time, uh, the sleeve does screw in counterclockwise. And I was talking about clearance. I've got this little tail. This is your stock build that's come with. Again, you can build it any way you want. But you, you always have to ensure you have clearance for the top cap. Again, the threads on the immortalizer is like butter. As you screw in your top cap, Take it in very slowly. Ensure that uh, you're getting, you're not catching anything. If you feel that you've got some bite on that and you're not fully screwed down, uh, that means that you put the top cap in disaligned. Um, you've caught some wick on there. Don't force it down. You know, if you force it down and you do happen to get it down there, um, you're gonna have a hell of a time trying to get it off. So, as you can see, I've got down everything down flush, 
show you guys screw it back off I got enough clearance there and we're off to step number four alright and step number four guys is basically putting down the immortalizer into your mod now you do risk cracking your ceramic if you tighten it down uh, here in my Pravari, I do have a little gap. Uh, I have it tight enough to where I can't move it back and forth with my thumb. Um, again, don't force it down. Uh, you will be able to make it flush, but you will uh, crack your ceramics, guys. So that's step number four. Alright, we're off to step number five. And step number five, ladies and gentlemen, has nothing to do with the immortalizer. I'm going to check my resistance. I got 1.3. I'm firing at 3.7. I'm going to zoom this out a little bit and give you guys a vape. The Immortalizer. Happy vaping, guys.